This is an unusual case, my lord. The accused was at an unmanned station under the influence of a strong fortified wine. Railway personnel from some 20 miles away, manning security cameras, saw him staggering towards the station's edge. Trainers on. You with a blue track suit. Get back. There's a train coming through here any minute. Stand back. I'm going to take the piss here. Won't you do what you're told and stand back? Stand back? That's right, you heard me. Stand back. If you say so, pal. Oh, shit! See? Look what you've done now, you fucking imbecile. Get off that track. There's a train coming through here in seconds. What the fuck was that, you asshole? I fucking nearly broke my ball. Fuck the ball. Get off the track. Hurry up. Get a fucking move on. Can he find my glasses? This is God calling. Get off the fucking track, will you? Get a fucking move on or you're gonna die. Fuck me. Move it, you fucking asshole. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, shit. It seems to me, young man, that your profound stupidity is matched only by your good fortune. I sentence you to 180 hours of community payback. If you don't carry out the required work, you will come back here before me and receive a custodial sentence. Is that clear? No, not really. Uh, the accused stole a yellow and blue macaw from a pet shop in the Gallagate area of the city. The bird was stuffed inside a Marks and Spencer's carrier bag with tail protruding. On being asked for an explanation by a police constable, the accused replied, Why don't you piss off and start hunting rapists, mass murderers and perverts, you grumpy twat? The damage to the vending machine was not as great as first feared, my lord, and it has been repaired at very little cost. It seems clear this offence was committed unfortunately through depression and this recent violent outburst is a desperate attempt to get back inside the prison system. This is a public order offence my lord. Climbing the statue of the Duke of Wellington in the city centre, the accused was under the influence of drink and drugs and seems to bear a grudge against public monuments. On previous occasions he has put a Scottish flag round Queen Victoria and urinated on Donald Dewar. The, the accused had a part-time cleaning job of three days a week. But during this time, she continued to claim social security benefits. Your Lordship will note there is a considerable history of fraudulent claims from the accused. She seems unable to change her behavior of claiming benefits she's not entitled to. As you will recall, my lord, this young man has pleaded guilty to a violent and prolonged assault. Now, it is accepted that the accused rivals in this case provoked the incident, but at the same time, the severity and viciousness of the accused's reaction went far beyond self-defence. Both the accused rivals were assaulted to their severe and permanent disfigurement. Given his chaotic childhood, my lord, both Mr Emerson's parents were frequently in and out of custody during his formative years, um, perhaps didn't have the best start in life. Your Lordship will note that following Mr Emerson's release from home at Young Offenders Institution, the last 10 months have been trouble free, my Lord, albeit apart from this one very serious incident. He has formed a stable relationship with his girlfriend. She continues to be a positive and stabilizing influence in his life. The reason for that is clear. Within 10 days, my client will become a father for the first time. My Lord, the prospects of fatherhood have changed this young man and he would grasp one last opportunity with both hands. 
He uh, has clashed with his girlfriend's father on several occasions, which gives rise to serious concern. Stand up. Your record is appalling. For much of your short life, you have behaved like a thug, and the violent incidents in this case have proven to me that you are still a dangerous individual. But you are obviously a young man with energy and talent. You have escaped a significant custodial sentence by the skin of your teeth. I sentence you to 300 hours of community payback. You talk to your head, you man! Silence, sir! Silence! 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 You're being safer inside, you, you prick. Watch your fucking back. See you soon, you wee dick. Catch you after heavy home. <laughs> I can't live with this. I'm not going to. Good morning, sir. Uh, I'm here to report for community payback. And your name is? It's uh, Albert Ridley. You're not on there, son. You sure? Should be definitely on the list. You sure it's today? Uh, Wednesday. No. Uh. You're two days out, son. What? You're two days out. Two days out. Yeah. I must be. I should be definitely on it. I'll tell you what. If you can tell me what year it is, I'll let you come with us. What year it is? Yeah. Feels as if I fucking own who wants to be a millionaire here. Yeah? Can I phone a friend? It's your lucky day, we're too short. All right, we're painting the community centre. Is any good with a brush? I'll get a bath, yeah. Eh? Right, get on the bus then. Cheers. Oh, what are you doing, pal? Oh, I'm fine, how? Oh, I've got your steak, man, again, I forgot it. It's a secret. <laughs> uh, it's a secret? I'm not telling you. Well, you've been drinking, pal. I haven't touched a drink. Oh, well, eh. I haven't touched a drink, I promise. Yeah. Look, yeah. smell my breath. <laughs> not touched a drink. Well, Rob Emerson. What name is it? Robert Emerson. Look, Robert, it's 8 o'clock sharp. It's not a taxi service, this. The bus sailed right past me. Look, I'm sorry, but it's a 15-minute cut off. You're too late. I've got to get my nails done, man, please. Please. Hey, Albert, have you painted before? Just where I can. Mm. Right, I'll tell you what then. Get, get a scraper. You and David, get some sandpaper. You get out in the hallway there and give it a bit of a scraping off, will you? Get it prepared for, for painting afterwards, all right? Scraping? What do you mean? I don't take the piss. Get the scrapers, get the sandpaper, get out there. David, you go with him. Show him what to do with his son. Get out in the corridor. Get started as soon as you can. There you go, David. There you go, the dream team. Right, you and PC can start on this wall. Right, now get that paint there, the orange paint, and you do the windows, and I don't mean the glass. Oh, fuck, Harry, no, no. I hate this colour. You don't like it? That's not me. Hello, bro. Alright, how are you going, David? Okay. Hi, bro. Don't get Good man. Well, what are you doing there? You're not digging the trench. Nice and easy. Nice and easy? Just sit the... Look, nice and light and second the skin off a nice pudding. A nice big sweep. Oh. Big, big sweep? Aye, nice and easy. What do you yeah. mean? Get it up. Like that? Hey. Yeah, hey. How's that? I'll well, have it off that ladder in a minute, behave yourself. Hey, that was a nice big sweep there. Bought the screen, that's you, Arnold. Yeah, we do, first time on today. Well, I can't leave Jean on her own, can I? Oh, 
Okay, the office is clear, it. Which hospital? Okay, thanks, Sheila. Got me. Hi? Your partner's going to labour. What? Your partner's going to labour. Go to buy some flowers. Oh, that'd be nice. Can I ask you a big favour, Harry? Here we go. Go on. Could you come in with me? What? I'm scared they won't let me in. I they just take one look at my scar. Fucking happens every time I go for a job as well. All right. Uncles, man. Still on his uncles. All right. You only an air, eh? Been expecting you to turn up from here. Leave, Dave. Come here. 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 Understand? Now you go anywhere near me, honey, or the baby. And I'll rip your fucking boss off you and I'll ram them down your fucking throat. Do you understand? I'll keep my baby too. You keep your big fucking nose out of this. You understand? Yeah, I've got me. Hey! Busted! Can you hack some? Hey! Oh, fuck you. Oh, come on. Come on, Captain. Hey, can you get on? Hey! Come on, Captain. Ah, come on, come on. You alright? Hey! Ah, fucking do that. Can you fucking do that, man? Come on, now! Get him up! You can't! Fuck off! Do you want to phone the police? No. I'll help you out. Oh, hey, Harry. I'll tell them what happened. Harry, look, we never do that ever. It's not happening. 